I love Margot. <laughs> Another one I loved around the same time was uh, Travis Scott. We just got off the plane in LA. We flew over for it and um, had a big entourage and everything. And he had like a guy there whose job it was to roll blunts for him. And he literally was just smoking giant joints through the whole shoot, passing them to my assistant who was getting high off it. <laughs> But he was very creative and fun. Yeah, it was good. I like to have a good time on I mean, you always want to be on his shoots, and that's a part of it too, because in this industry, it's 30% personality. And if you're, they've got to be with you on a shoot for eight hours. So what they want is to have fun and get good pictures at the end of it. And with Max, that's what you get. It's not just my vision, you know. I, so many of my strongest shots have come out of the head of these, you know, amazing creative stylists and um, the makeup artists. I think teams are really important and you put teams together that are going to push other people to go to the next level, which is really important. I like to have a, a, a crew that I, I, my regular crew, crew that I really trust because I don't, I'm not very technical. Um, so the guys that I know that I just sort of describe the aesthetic and then they go into the technical and just like, yeah, yeah, we've got it kind of thing, you know. And then I, I spend a lot of time just hanging with the talent and because um, I think for my work that's a, that's a factor of it is the interaction between me and them. You can go and do a course and become a photographer. That's your technical part, but you have to have something in your soul that's creative. Naturally, he's born with that gift. So for Max, it's done so naturally that he doesn't try hard and that's what makes it look loose and beautiful all the time. I try not to over plan it. I try and just turn up and and work with what's right in front of me. I'll give you an example that Margot Robbie cover I did for Oyster. They said, you've got five minutes left with her. And we were just standing outside, you know. What can I do? And, and there was a um, sun lounger with pink cushions. So I got somebody else to hold this cushion up behind her head and just was lucky to have the angle of the sun was just at the right point. And it, it looks like we were shooting in a studio, you know, like, it's just grab it, go for it. It could have backfired, but it worked. 